So I'm going to show you how to install Crossloop into Ubuntu under Wine. So we've got Wine and we can install it. I've got it installed but I'm going to show you how to reinstall it. So you have to go into your download. You have to download the Windows Crossloop Setup EXE. Um, you won't be allowed to open it until you go to Properties on the file, Permissions, Allow Executing the the files of program close then you right click it open with the wine windows program loader uh, if you don't know how to uninstall wine I can post a install for wine but basically it is applications Ubuntu software center you search for wine and you can install the wine so we're going to right click this open with the wine program loader the setup comes up it, English is what I'm choosing. I choose next. I accept the agreement. Next. Create a desktop icon. Create a, uh, a quick launch icon. You don't want either of those on. Next. Next. Or install. Okay, it's going to give you an error that I can't open the Windows firewall, but you can just hit OK. It gives it that you can't open the Windows firewall. You have to hit OK again. And close it and then finish which will launch cross loop and it does something kind of funny here so it comes up gets the web server updates and it might have you have to close the little cross loop window but as you can see I've got the cross loop icon here and I logged in already so you just click the login and log in and let's show you how it works here. I've got a virtual machine set up with XP. And you go to share and select a number. Copy. Paste it in here. Uh, you got to hit connect here. Then you put your access code in here. I'm going to click connect. This is waiting on connection, waiting on connection. So you'll notice there's a cross loop icon in the upper right hand corner up here. And that will allow you to get into cross loop or tell you that it's running. But for those of you running Linux, it's a very handy thing to be able to run Linux and still have your cross loop chat. Oops, I didn't get the right code in here. Connect. All right, would you allow him access? Yes, I would. So it's waiting for approval. And it goes down to the bottom of the screen. And then you'll notice that I have the cross loop interface and can control the virtual machine or an actual machine but it was just easier to show you with a virtual machine so you can send files everything seems to work <clears throat> and it is a really handy thing to be able to run it in Linux so disconnect disconnect and that's my tutorial